So I debated, was I going to turn on this camera for this video or not? But I'm going to do it. I am at Max Creek Falls. There, right there. There, that's the falls. So I'm down in South Central Illinois in an era right now where there is no water flowing. Um, it took me a little while to find these falls. I had a feeling I'd have a little struggle because the creek wasn't running, but what I wasn't expecting was it's actually a feeder stream, not the Max Creek is over there and runs along. So I missed it on my first pass because a tree had fallen and the horse trail that I was following was diverted to the other side of the river to avoid that tree. So it's not the easiest thing to find and I'm gonna give you directions. So I'm gonna do this in reverse and then wind it back up for you. But I can imagine a pool of water down here Kind of spinning around and water flowing over that and then it flows down through here down to the creek and the creek is very pretty down there or would be if it was flowing i'm at the start point for the trails now um, which has a decent parking area here um, i think it is set up large enough for horse trailers and there are a couple signs here the max creek trail grouping here we have max creek Tra max creek trail number 437 goes that way down the path i think that's its parking area this is the path i took max creek trail 437 oops the trail I took, Max Creek Trail 437, along the RTR, the River to River Trail. It takes you down this path and eventually you'll get that split that'll divide you on this trail that does a big loop or there's another trail that takes you straight down to the creek. Come to a crossroads. That puts you on the river to river trail and part of the trail that makes the big loop around. If you want to go straight to the waterfall, you want the trail to the creek to the left. Max Creek Trail number 437, which I believe is part of the river to river trail, goes to the right. Now the trails not the most obvious, but it's clear enough going down through the woods. This is a point as you come over the hill where the trail gets a little vague. There are several of these little ravine looking things, but basically you're getting to the bottom of the hill and you'll hit the river. That's your goal. The specific trail going down doesn't matter that much. When the trail becomes hard to find, look for signs like this with some down logs where obviously someone has been crossing regularly. Can't really see that there's a trail right now. You're just getting to the bottom of the hill anyway. But that gives you a clue which way to go. Once you get down the hill, you'll wind up in a bend in the river, right here, bluff straight ahead of you, you can't miss, and the campfire ring, and a pretty good just gathering spot here. If your goal is the waterfall, you're not far away now. From that gathering area where the fire pits are and you got a bluff over on that side so you can't be on that side of the river at that point you come along over here 
Now you can't go further because the bluffs start again so there's a river crossing and the horse trail continues on over there and that's where you cross. Horse trail runs along over here. This is the river for going upstream right now and along these bluffs. Eventually the bluffs are going to turn up a ravine. Okay, I'm standing in the middle of Max Creek right now. It's bone dry. Flows down from up there, comes down, and there's these big bluffs along the edge here. These are your clue. Follow those bluffs up, and they take you up to where the waterfalls would be. If you get to the big down tree in the middle of the river that diverts the horse trail, you've gone too far. There, right there, there, that's the falls. And this is what you come out here for. Let's see if we can see anything from here. Quite a few uh, birds riding thermals up here. They may not be the biggest marks, but there's this little trail marker telling you that way. Basically takes me back to the parking area. And over there I found, found a little sign, probably about that big, that just said 2RTR. Well, not all outcroppings give you a good view. It's not that much of a cliff. Kind of cool though. Obviously, not a lot of people come here because this is still completely covered with lichen. That's a cool rock formation. The colors are pretty right now. Back down the trail. It's a pretty steep drop, but the trees are still taller than the drop. And this is one point where the actual horse trail comes right up to the edge. Oh, those trees are pretty. I hope this is capturing it. And that's where the trail dumps out for the Max Creek Scenic Overlook. And that brings me back to the parking area. Things to know on this trail. I am here in a dry season. Obviously, I have no waterfall. Um, there are a lot of complaints on all trails. First, that the trails aren't very well marked, and they're minimally marked. It's more of follow the horse marks. If the horse doesn't get there, you can get there. The other thing is when it is not dry, it is muddy. And those horses can leave quite the imprint in the mud. And instead of like getting a chance for it to dry and cake and you can walk on it, you're going to sink in on those areas. You will cross the stream, Max Creek, several times to do anything here, except for the little bluff trail that I just finished up. So be prepared for that. Um, I got covered with seeds. Um, I'm glad I was in sort of armory kind of clothes today. Uh, it made a difference. There was a lot of thorny bushes. Uh, a lot of people complain about ticks out here and it probably makes a difference in the summer and there was a, like I said a lot of thorny bushes that were grabbing onto my legs so wear the appropriate clothing and which makes it hard when you think well, what do I want to wear on my feet to cross the river so I hope that was useful hope you got something out of it if you can't plan on coming here now you know 
that's what these videos are about. I took the journey, now you got some information. So thanks for coming along, I appreciate it, and get on out there. One last thing, the road coming in here is kind of questionable.